Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're in the Wachita's this weekend and Crystal had a few weeks left before she had to go back to work being a school teacher. And uh, she said, I wanna go to the Wachita's, man. Spur of the moment thing. And I said, why not? Let's go, let's try to find us a cabin, man. We jumped on the Airbnb. We found this sweet cabin at the end of a dirt road, man. I typed in Mount Ida, Arkansas. We knew we wanted to be around Mount Ida. We found this spot, man. It's awesome, it's called the Easy Street cabin man i love it you know what i'm saying we're staying on easy street man but easy street is the end of a dirt road bordering the national forest that's where we're at i'm glad you guys are here man we're gonna have a relaxing weekend we're not doing a whole lot we're gonna go shoot some video we're gonna shoot some photos and show you a little bit more what the watchtas are all about so glad you guys are here has got one of these sweet outdoor grills just like you see at the campgrounds man i love it i'm gonna get one of these for the sweet 16 you know what i'm saying Alright guys, I just switched lenses. I put the 100 millimeter macro on there. I had the 2470, but I want to get in there a little bit closer on this barn, so I'm dropping this lens on. If this isn't close enough, I'm gonna steal the lens you guys are watching me on because that's an 18 by 135, and I can zoom in a lot more with that one. But we're gonna see what I can get with this one, and uh, we're gonna move on to the next barn. Honey, thank you so much for doing that for me. What I wanted to do right here was this was a really great example of shooting through something. So I wanted to get back and shoot through that gate because that gate just gives like a whole new texture and a whole new element of surprise to that barn. You still see the barn in the background, but sometimes if you just step away, shoot through a tree or shoot through some leaves or do something, keep your focal point in the background on that barn, but get that little blurry of the foreground makes for an interesting photo. So that's what I wanted to do right here. Honey, thanks, yes. thanks for being my camera lady. I appreciate you. <laughs> Guys, check out bar number two, man. It's just right up the road from the other barn, man. Check this out. That's one thing I've always loved on doing photo shoots, man, whenever I just go out and photo shoot landscape and nature and stuff, is I always love finding these isolated buildings, man, like an isolated barn or an isolated tree, just a, a sweet tree out in the middle of a field, man. This barn is perfect for awesome photos. So I'm gonna get my other camera and we're gonna shoot some photos and then we're gonna move right on down the road to the next one. It is raining, guys. I hope it doesn't rain much worse than this because we're gonna be out of luck if it does, but I think we can handle this, you know what I'm saying? Guys, that is freaking sweet, man. Do you see the framing over the honeysuckle, man? That picture is awesome, man. Crystal got some really cool ones on her phone too, man. But uh, we're done here. We're gonna go on down the road, see what else we can find. I don't think I got anything else right now, except there was a white church. We're gonna stop and shoot that white church. But other than that, we're just gonna head on up to the lake and see what we can find, man. Glad you guys are here on our little photo tour, man. This is fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pretty cool old church, ain't it? Sign says, Sweet Home. Hang on, I got some raindrops on my lens here. Hang on. Squeak, 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 squeak. Everywhere we go, man, the doors are always locked. What's up with that, honey? You ever notice that? I'm just kidding. That old building's probably been locked up forever, man. What a cool old church, man. We're going to head on down the road and see what we can see. guys we made it down here to a, a finger of Lake Wachita and uh, it's not too glamorous um, it's muddy and it's rainy and uh, yeah we're gonna go somewhere else so this was kind of a dead-end bust Guys, we made it out here to the lake, man, and it got dark on us quick. But we've been out here shooting some bangers, man. I gotta show y'all some of those photos we got. They were incredible. Looking out over the water with the reflection and everything, man, they were awesome. But uh, it's really pretty out here, man. We're at Lake Wachita, check it out. And that's gonna do it for tonight, man. It's dark, I'm not gonna film no more. We're about to pack up and head back to the cabin, you know what I'm saying? Whole different vibe out here at night, man. It is so quiet out here, you know what I'm saying? It's almost kinda like, kinda eerie a little bit cause you're way at the end of a dirt road. You're in the middle of the Wachita's, man. There's bears out here, there's Sasquatches out here, there's mountain lions out here, and uh, we're out here. So I'm just like chilling out here waiting for something to happen. You know, I got my camera and uh, we got a little bit of light, but that's all we got. Super quiet, we were trying to find the stars, man, but it's been cloudy. It's supposed to be a meteor shower tonight, we really want to see that, but... <sighs> Ain't gonna happen, man. Too many daggum clouds, so... Crystal's hopping in the shower. I'm about to go inside and uh, eat a little bit of leftovers from the place we ate at earlier today, which was really good. And it was called Mount Ida Cafe. So Mount Ida Cafe, thank you, man. It was really good. We appreciate it. And we're eating the leftovers right now. So I'm going to get inside. I heated some up and eat, and then we're going to call it a night, man. But thanks for hanging in there, guys, and we'll see you all tomorrow. because I forgot all kinds of stuff. I didn't bring any creamer. I didn't bring any sugar. As you guys know, I gotta juice my coffee up with all the additives. So I get all loaded up and everything. We get the Yeti and the drinks and get our clothes and everything. And we get everything thrown in the Forerunner. And uh, almost forgot my camera. Camera bag I left sitting there and uh, almost forgot that. And uh, get all the way down here and I get this vlogging camera out because I'm like, I'm gonna go around, shoot some B-roll around the cabin, right? 
And uh, I'm freaking out, man. I'm looking around everywhere. I'm like, I didn't even bring a tripod. Like, I did not bring a tripod at all. Like, this whole entire video is just handheld. So, I'm talking to you right now. My arm is fully extended. Oh, I can't do this. Yeah, my arm is fully extended. <clears throat> um, no tripod whatsoever. I forgot my Joby. So I had all my gear in the truck because I've been filming out at Sweet 16. Oh my gosh, hang on. We're going dark, y'all. We're in dark mode. Hang on. I'm gonna get you back up here right. And there we are. Welcome back. Anyways, to make a long story short, been filming this whole video with no tripod and my arm is about to fall off. So I'm gonna turn this thing off and talk to Crystal and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do today. So glad you guys are still here. It's the next morning. <laughs> pretty awesome but we're out of here man we're gonna go try to find something to eat and then uh i don't know we might go try to find something to dig y'all know crystal's a digger and she's a rock hound and we're down here in crystal and quartz country so i don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna go look around glad you guys are still here got to a cool place called Crystal Vista. It's about a mile hike up in here on this trail. And uh, you can pick up a surface quartz and- uh, Dig a little. You can dig a little. So we got a couple digging tools with us and uh, we're heading out on this hike and show you guys what that's all about. Glad y'all are here. Guys, this hike through here is unbelievable, man. You are right in the middle of the Wachita Mountains. And uh, there's quartz and crystal all over the place, man. And it is so cool just to be walking around and everywhere you look is quartz, crystal laying all over the ground. You can pick some up, you can save some. It's okay to do that here. That's what this place is for. So uh, that's why I want to check it out. That's kind of creepy right there. Look at that. That's a sawzall blade wrapped on the end that I just found randomly laying right here on the ground. This is creepy what I just found. I just found like a, I don't know. I don't know why this is here. But his sawzall blade, a long one, wrapped on the end like a handle. Look at that. Well, that's probably their digging tool. Someone probably rigged that for digging and it didn't work very good. So they're like, you know what? I'm just leaving this stupid thing here. That's what I think happened. Crystal just found the spot, man. They are everywhere. And she's been waiting patiently on me to get down here with the tools because I'm the guy with the backpack. Get her all set up to start digging. You know what I'm saying?
Guys, we've been here for a minute and uh, Crystal needs a good rock to sit on because it's hard whenever you're just squatting down the whole time. So I'm gonna try to find her a rock. Good, nice, flat one or maybe a, a log or something like that. Would that be good, babe? Oh man, it's starting to rain, guys, and we're like a mile in Wachita Mountains, man. What are we gonna do if it starts raining on us? I just felt raindrop on my ear. I'm not even joking. I just gotta get it up out of here. Guys, Crystal Vista is huge when you get up here to the top, man. There is just digging everywhere, holes. It's kind of a red dirt, if you haven't already noticed. Especially right up on top of the hill is very red. And uh, man, you can just go anywhere up here and sit here and dig, you know what I'm saying? And whatever you find, you can just take home. So, found this one that looks almost exactly like a cone. Check this out. I like that one. <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? Doesn't it look just like a cone? Here we go. We gotta head up to the Sweet 16 and we're gonna get going. We're gonna find a place to stop and get something to eat along the way for lunch. And uh, yeah, this has been super awesome. If you guys never been to the Crystal Vista, come check it out. It's free and it's super fun and it gives you something to do. Bring the kids, bring some water, and bring some digging tools. Bring lunch, stay all day. Thanks again for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up, like. And if you got anything to say, drop it in the comments. That's it for today, guys. Peace.